Taliban orders the beheading of mannequins. On January 2nd, Aziz Rahman, the head of the Ministry for Virtue and the Pre Prevention of Vice in the city of Herat, ordered all shopkeepers to cut off the heads of mannequins as idolatry is considered haram in Sharia law. Um, the initial plan was to remove the mannequins altogether, but many shopkeepers complained that such actions would damage their businesses. Ultimately, it was decided to keep the mannequins, but get rid of their heads. Business owner Abdul Wadud um, Faiz Zada stated that the mannequins cost somewhere between $70 to $100. He thought that covering the heads would have been a better solution rather than cutting them off. He, um, the ministry countered that such an idea, sorry, the ministry countered such an idea by stating, quote, if they just cover the heads or hide the entire mannequin, the angel of Allah will not an enter their shop or house and bless them. Well, I think they're missing the point. They're accusing these mannequins of causing shirk, not degeneracy. You know what I mean? Like the hijab is not going to... So I think this is why this is why you need somebody that knows their Islam to figure out why they're beheading them, right? They're not saying like so people are saying why are you beheading them? Just cover them up. They're like, no, no, no. We're not saying that you're gonna get horny by looking at mannequins. That's not they what did say that too, actually. Okay, they did. They but did the main, talk about temptation, but it was mainly the it was mainly the, the idolatry. The main okay, the idolatry is the okay. So for them, the idolatry is a bigger problem than you getting horny with mannequins right so people are like why don't you just cover them up because the fact that this is a human figure could cause shirk like it could <laughs> they, they think that people might just all of a sudden start worshiping the mannequins <laughs> that's, so like that's so crazy <laughs> that's so right. crazy that's so crazy so so yeah if you cover them up you, they're still a human figure and a human figure in a form of a statue could take could act like an idol so oh wow we're getting spammed again let me block this person oh i'm not even gonna highlight this one wow actually i'm should i highlight this name no for people to see guys the usernames these people anyways i'm not gonna highlight but yeah so what was i saying oh yeah yeah no no so if you cut so they, at least they accepted to keep the mannequins they were like we're getting rid of the mannequins and the shopkeepers complained this is the difference between taliban today and taliban 20 years ago taliban 20 years ago would be like we're gonna not only we're gonna get rid of the mannequins we're gonna also physically punish you for having it right taliban today is like we're just gonna behead your mannequins so it's progress <laughs> yes i don't know <laughs> oh um, my god wait if you yeah. scroll down there's a um post from masia linajad where she shows people beheading the mannequins oh we have footage of the mannequins being hit, beheaded this is violent children oh. over your oh. eyes <laughs> wait. yeah actually do you have audio yeah what <laughs> the idea of it being an idolatry problem is so crazy to me because it's supposed to be so shirk is a holding a partner to god who looks well, at a mannequin and thinks that that is a partner to god i don't understand wait are you telling me you have never passed a mannequin and didn't get tempted to worship it it's just me <laughs> <laughs> Wait, seriously? None of you? Anybody? Have you never been in a mall and seen a mannequin? I'm like, I'm just going to light some candles here and start praying. Never? <laughs> well, now that I think about it. <laughs> so crazy. They're laughing at their own. Yeah. All right. Um... I mean, technically, it's not like they, you have... To, okay, so the way it works is not like you have to argue that it could cause an act of worship. What you understand is that in Islam... So it's... Okay, so let me make it... Let me try to make, tell you how, the, how their mind is working or not working, mm -hmm. to be... To be. 
it's not like it's not like they're being consequentialist and like trying to morally determine whether mannequins could potentially lead to somebody worshiping them. It's not like they're not doing that calculation. What they're doing is that they are saying that human figures are haram in Islam. Okay, they're not doing the a a could cause b b could cause c calculation. And then if you go look in, into tafsir and if you go look into um, the four Islamic schools of thought, or if you go look into the reason why human figure or like a depiction of a human body is haram in Islam, then you will see that the reason is that it could cause shirk or partner finding partners to God or idol worshiping, whatever. You, these are all the same thing, right? Um, so they're not like, we're doing this to prevent idol worship. They're, they're thinking we're doing this because having a human figure in Islam is haram. The, the argument for why it's haram has been made hundreds of years before. Like, you know what I mean? They're not, you know, they're just following through what is haram. So I think that would make, makes a little bit more sense. I mean, none of this makes any sense, but I just want you to understand what the, what the thought process is. Does that make more sense? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, to someone who's not familiar, which are like, where, where are they even coming from? And just one point of clarification, based on the reporting that I've seen, this might be specific to the city or province of Herat. Um, based on the research I was doing today, um, it doesn't seem like this is across Afghanistan. I think this is a... Um, the Ministry of Propagation of Virtue and the Prevention of Vice is a across Afghanistan, but I think this might be like a local branch of the ministry that just did it for that province. Um, just, yeah, I wanted to like be clear because I do think it is important to be specific when talking about these actions that Taliban takes, especially because there is no one Taliban, right? They're very different mm -hmm. across provinces and also like the Doha group, versus um kandahar like or just some random you know taliban soldier there are there's less of a unified them, yeah. message than we like to think yeah but some some things about them is unified something something sometimes it's not but um but th also something else we have to understand is that this is what taliban knows how to do like they don't know how to run a country <laughs> Like right now, the, they have a problem of not having a war. Uh, they're having an identity crisis because they're not fighting anybody, right? Like they, that's that's what they're good at. So they're like, like they need this. <laughs> they need to go behead mannequins because they're like, what else? Like managing economy and like doing stuff that requires some any form of skills, like trade, you know bureaucracy anything like we we cut we cut mannequin heads that's like we if we can't shoot anybody this is what we do <laughs> yeah i saw a news item that came out today that they have just banned women from bathhouses but it's not just any bathhouse it's like an ancient local form of bathhouse called the hanam which is for many people across afghanistan the only way in which they can get warm water because they don't have the funds or the means to warm water themselves so for a lot of people it's the only way that they can take a warm bath and they just banned women again i think it was maybe just in harat or maybe it was across the country i'm not sure but they banned women from these bathhouses and in the reporting that i was seeing on this they were saying the same thing where locals are now saying why are they doing this we're starving. Don't you have better things to deal with versus taking away from women the only way that they're able to get a warm bath in the winter, let alone for many women, it's the way in which they fulfill their religious obligation of being sanitary, of cleansing themselves after they have their period, after they have sex, all that stuff, which is a religious obligation to them. And now they're saying they just took that away from them for like no reason. Um, Although, I mean, it was also, it, it was banned for women during the Taliban's first takeover. Um, now they're doing it again. And, but again, people are saying like, you have higher priorities than this, but they're just, it's easy for them to do these things. It's easier for them to take away these things than to actually govern, right? It's like, well, we can't actually manage, you know, like a currency across the country. So we're, we're just gonna like ban things. We, we can do that. 
All right, um, I'm going to quickly use the restroom. You could uh, stay with the chat, see what they're saying. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, let's see what people in the live chat are talking about. Um, guys, please remember to like this stream if you haven't already. Um, Rudresh is saying Taliban can't run a country. They can't even operate an air force. Well, I have seen a lot of, uh, you know, funky, crazy videos of them, you know, putting hammocks on helicopters. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, Murtad Skeptic is saying they get that itch. <laughs> they get that, that itch for beheading. So they take it out on the mannequins to fill that craving. <laughs> You know, I wonder if it, I think it was actually the shop owners themselves that had to behead them, not not the local Taliban's. So probably didn't probably didn't get that satisfaction. Um. Oh my God! Wait, I saw a hilarious comment from Shuvo back in the beginning, because when we were talking about the motivation for this being, um, was it horniness or idolatry? And yeah, here it is. <laughs> she was at idolatry one, horniness zero. <laughs> You're muted. Taliban doesn't behead. They shoot. They shoot in the head or stuff like that. They st they stone. Like I think beheading is just like Saudi Arabia. Which is weird because Islamically that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to behead. Yeah. I don't know why well, they, neither they amputate you. hands. Yeah, but they use machines. So maybe it was now. the itch to amputate a body part. Mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, Fitna has nothing on Shirk. No, nothing has. Shirk is the worst thing. Shirk is the worst thing in Islam. So much so that people don't call don't call it even a sin. They're like it's above sin. Wait, sin can be <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> we this comment from the Hindu patrol saying. Taliban oh, yeah. is your dad. <laughs> <laughs> we should miss that. Who's oh, your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right. Let me. Oh, you highlighted that. Okay, let me remove these stars. Okay. Oh, we have another spammer. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me highlight this one. I went. This is this person just putting a whole bunch of A's in the live chat. Just look at the username that they're using. Just look at that. By the way, thank you to Music Guy for like cleaning all the spam that is coming at us in the live chat. I really appreciate Music Guy. But look at this, guys. Like a lot of them, I'm not even highlighting because we don't know if. Uh, I mean, let me highlight them. I want people to see what kind of usernames they use. Well, you know, it's not me. I'm more concerned about YouTube. Yeah, but like I've seen other streamers talk about like we're not even reading it, right? I've seen other YouTubers talk about other people's threats. Like I don't think like YouTube is that dumb to think that we're saying it. Yeah, I don't know. Guys, don't if we know. do get a strike from this, you guys need to help us on Twitter to tell people like these were we were just talking about threats that are coming at us. Like we're not saying it. Like for example, this one is about my mom, obviously. Obviously, I'm not gonna so YouTube is so dumb. We have to be worried about that. Um, all right. Yeah. So Rudrish Rid is saying it's uh, it's always yeah it's always attacking women. Yeah. Thank you, music guy. You're doing a really good job removing cleaning the trash. Yeah. Thanks for cleaning. Another day of our mods putting in some heavy lifting. <laughs> Yeah, music guy was complaining. <laughs> no, was a complaint. Was I was joking about the fact that he was like, <laughs> he was so tired. He was like, constantly banning these trolls in the live chat. By the way, I don't understand. Like the people who are attacking us, do they not see that they're attacking themselves by they doing? Like, like I don't understand what what they think they're achieving. Like we are using you as a way to highlight how what we're dealing with. Like you are doing our work for us. Like. You, a lot of Muslims, like, imagine, like, guys, we're not even, this is nothing. Imagine being a Muslim in India, right? Like, we are trying to tell people that Muslims in India are having a very hard time having to deal with all this bigotry, and people don't believe us, and we're not in India, and you come at us, and you are, you want to 
burn us alive and kill us because you're accusing us of being Muslims. And we're never going to see, that's never going to be a threat to us. Like you guys are never going to be a threat to us, but you're helping us show that if this is your attitude towards us, imagine the attitude that the same people have in India towards Muslims. So you are actually doing our work because we highlight you and then people will take us like, oh my God, it is really that bad. Like we are not exaggerating. So you are helping us because you will never be a threat to us, but you are helping us show that you are a threat to Muslims in India. That's what you're doing. Anyways. Yep, you're right. <laughs> Mustafa saying, how many oh. how many Gmail accounts were made to troll you? <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, if you act, maybe if you did some work, you would make more income. Like if you all this effort that you're doing, like maybe go like learn something, maybe go learn how to code or something. Like, I don't know. What like, are you saying? Get a job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.